Well, watch you guys, how you doing? Hope you're all making the most of what short amount of time you have left of the fishing season. Just a little note before I begin this video to tell you guys I will be releasing videos that I filmed during the course season and I'll be releasing some of those during the close. I don't want any of you thinking, oh, hello, hello, he's fishing in the close season. A little cheeky so-and-so. I'm not. But I do have a back catalogue of videos that I haven't had time to edit that I will put up during the close season. Anyway, so what are we doing today? Well, I've got lobworms, I've got maggots, I've got a bread of liquidised bread, uh, bread of liquidised bread. Deary me, you're losing it, Mark. <laughs> a bag of liquidised bread. Uh, says me as I go red from making a mess up there. <coughs> I've got some slices of bread. I've got, as I say, lobworms, maggots, and some redworms. But first and foremost today, trying to make it a bit of a game of two halves. Going to be starting on the link measure on lobworms and see if we can pick up some perch. Obviously, there's always a chance you're going to pick up a chevin with a lobworm. And I can't resist a nice chub, and they can't resist a nice lobworm. So the ideal plan is fish throughout the daytime. Um, it's coming up to I say daytime, it's lunchtime, or t 10 to 12. Um, but fish throughout what is left of the daytime into evening time for the perch on the lobworms. If we get a few chub as a byproduct, then fair enough. And then evening time, switch on to the chub gear with the bread, um, cheese paste and also power tracks meat beast that I've got with me for the chub and target the chub. Anyway, that's the sum of it. I'll go through what I'm using today. Got a lovely, that's a roundabout 500 size gotcha reel. And I got that cheap on Amazon. It's a lovely little reel. And would you believe, would you believe me if I told you that cost me three pound, three pound 97 if I remember correctly. Three pound 97, it's, it's so smooth. It's a lovely little reel. Anyway. Going on to the rod, Anglian Direct Advanta RVS River Ambush. That's a five foot five inch rod. Really nice for getting in swims. It's a one and a half pound test curve. Got a nice, reasonably pliable Avon tip. You can't change the tip, of course, but it's reasonably flexible. Did want to get into some pokey swims today, so that's why I've gone with the this short rod and not the Drenon Ultralight, which is a short rod anyway, but this takes shortness to the extreme. Um, coupled that up with as I say, a little 500 size gotcha reel, and that's Shimano Invisitech line. Little, say little, size 8 power tracks the hook. And just not a low resistance link leisure, just a basic link leisure setup. Single swan shot nipped on some line, swivel, and a little gripper stop. Keep it simple, silly. So that's the sum of it. Gonna get cracking, got a nice swim next to me, got some nice features, got a little slack. The river's colour in the river's dropped out just a tinge that's so quite nice still up high but very nice nicely poised and I've got some nice features so I'm gonna try this slack next to me I'm gonna feed in a little bit of maggots put out a nice half a juicy lobworm and um, hopefully someone a bit home as I say ideally it'd be nice to pick up a few perch but if I get a few chub as well I'm not gonna be complaining and that'll certainly give a good feisty fight on this dinky little rod anyway let's crack on and um, see if we can pick up a stripey or a chevin and just enjoy ourselves wholesome feel nice and well mentally when you're on the bank just enjoy the fishing anyway i'm waffling I'm not gonna waffle always doing it aren't i guys very very much i'm <laughs> very 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 sorry for that anyway let's crack on Woo! <laughs> 
Nice one as well, a nice little one. That's not a bad shovel, a little five and a half foot advanta river ambush rod. <laughs> oh. Get in lovely bright conditions. And yes, Anyone that's going to say, I know what you're going to say, is a dog parking. Oh, there we go. That's a bit of a proper one, isn't it? <laughs> They're old scrap on that little 5.5 RVS ambush rod. But look at that for enamelling and beautiful character to it. Wow. What a gorgeous fish. Let's draw myself back. Very nice too. Wonderful. Anyway, it's a bit of a live one, so let's slip it back. Here, what it's a lovely day. A little bit of a gusty wind at times. A little bit breezy. The river's fining down. You can see it's dropping. The colour's not bad at all. Nice with the clarity. Around about, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say 6 to 12 inches visibility. Not too shabby. And of course, it's just nice to be out. Lovely and mild as well. Always nice to see a bit of blue sky, given how much rain the UK's had recently. Smaller, but nonetheless brassy and well enamelled chevron. Lovely, nice ink stained towel. One for the future, but one that's very welcome today. Yes, very nice.
nice looking chub right under my feet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a nice solid chub. Whoa, wowzers, how about that then? That's a bit of a tank, isn't it? Right, cracking, scrap and bite and slack right under my feet. God, what a beauty, and I tell you what, it's an angry chevin. Lovely frame to it, lovely scrap. Wowzers, what a beauty. Corking, absolutely stellar. Let's get it slipped back. Don't know where the perch are at the moment, but I'm not complaining. Certainly not complaining. Wow. Feels pretty decent, chaps. Barbel guys, barbel on the five foot one. It's not losing. Good fish. That's a good fish. Oh heck. Oh god, great. No. What size? Oh, 
Scrap, I sound like I've gone seven sides of a padded cell and I don't give a hoot. What a scrap, guys. Six pound line, little four pound or three pound seventy nine Gochia reel, a little Advanta 5.5 foot, one and a half pound test curve rod. What a scrap, I tell you what, that's just under my feet to my right hand side. Oh, if you're going to have a cardiac, make it on a good fish, eh? Crikey, she's a beaut. And I almost wished I had my bigger witchwood net with me. Heart stopping, palpable. Who heck, I'm done in, but darn happy. As I said earlier, not too sure where the perch are. Not too sure I really mind. If you're going to catch a fish on light gear and it's going to be a good fish, make it a really, really good fish. What an absolute cruncher. Absolute manic scrap. And you can see what a build it's got. The weight, over 12 pounds. 12 pound, two and a half ounces. I'm not going to split hairs over the half ounce, so 12 pound two. And that is a new personal best and venue best for me on this waterway. And on six pound line, five and a half foot rod. <sighs> absolutely. Absolutely amazing. What a fight. What a scrap indeed. Draw myself back. Look at that, eh? Well, how stellar is that, guys? How absolutely wonderful. Oh, what a corker. Brilliant. Absolutely superb. Made up. Take a quick look at the other flank and then get her well rested. Whew, what a build. You can imagine my heart, it's going 10 to the giddy dozen. Look at the shoulder on her. <sighs> Recognisable scar there. What a pearl. Let's draw myself back again. Oh, come on. You can see why my adrenaline was overflowing. As soon as I saw her break the surface, I thought, Mark, you're not getting that in your net too easily. <laughs> Link leisure. That's how we literally roll. <laughs> oh, what a stellar looking fish. Look at the paddles on her. Let's get her slipped back, let's get her rested, let's get her recuperated and release her. Wow! Oh, what a corker you are. Get your head, head down. Off you go. Wow, the power, the beauty, and testing me to my limits, but eventually the glory. Ooh, what a fish. I'm shaking like it's going out of fashion. Must 
typically it's the light levels fading and dying down the perch are there they're coming around I can't complain can I chub barbel and look at those rouge fins a welcome plump perker very nice too beautiful condition look at those fins how beautiful <laughs>